I'm going to share something with y'all. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. B Dave joins me, my new airdrop friend. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, mate, what a massive week. History Makers, the first tag team in Misfits, you and Pineda. Um, we've got a lot to talk about, but just kind of in terms of general excitement, I bet you cannot wait for tomorrow night. Hell yeah, man. I'm ready to rock and roll, baby. Pineda is... <clears throat> Yo, I'm actually kind of terrified of him right now because he is fucking ready to go. Dude, we trained together last night. He said, they don't leave one round. And I'm like, damn, dude. He's really fucking into it. I'm really into it, man. We're ready to go out there and make history, dude. It's going to be fucking sick. What's the dynamic like between you two? Because obviously you were rivals on one of the previous Misfits cards. Uh, but I'm sensing kind of brotherly love now. Yeah. Yeah, man. We weren't. We never really got a rivalry going because I didn't know who I was fighting until we walked out there. We never said a word to each other except for a good job after the fight until leading up to this fight. And we talked like moments before we got to England over DM. Uh, but yeah, we're, I, I think this is the start of a really exciting friendship and a, and a really maybe beloved friendship by the fans and the people watching. Obviously the rules were one thing that kind of a lot of people wanted clearing up and, um, I suppose it's fairly self-explanatory, but one thing is if there is to be a knockout, the fight can end now with Pineda, as we know, um, if he is to start in the ring there, I mean, there could be potential that you don't even step through the rope. So is it going to be you starting tomorrow night? Um, I don't know what we're going to do yet. We're, we're set to talk about it here in a couple hours, but that's definitely a possibility. I know, I think that we can all agree that Pineda does have a chin, bro. He's not, he's not no bitch. He's not easy to knock out. Even with the JJ fight, bro, you can, people can say, oh, he was a wuss or whatever, but it took JJ three rounds for them even to stop it. He didn't get knocked out. You know what I'm saying? So he's not no bitch. I was cracking him with some hard shots during our fight. He never went out. He never went down. So... They're, these boys are gonna have these boys don't punch as hard as I do, and they're gonna have a real big problem trying to get Pineda out of there, and that's uh, that's good for us, I guess, because they can't knock me out either. I mean, as I'm sure a lot of you guys would agree, I'm not a pussy. Pineda was hitting me with some really hard shots that first round. I never went nowhere. I didn't go down. I didn't go out in the first round. Um, I went down off of what I believe to be my footing being off in the second round, but never out. So I don't think these guys really bring anything to the table that we can't handle. I mean, you're completely right in what you said. No one can have any questions about your ability and heart in the boxing ring. Um, but it kind of makes for a funny story as well, because I know you're, uh, you're a beer and cigarettes man. You're, you're kind of, you're kind of beat, you're, you're, you're beat, you're beating the system. You're beating the system. You're doing this while, while living the life of a normal man. Yeah, man, you're going to see that my increase in beer and cigarettes over this last month of training camp will show in that ring when I get in there, man. It, it will be exciting. When, when you see me not gassing out and I can go, 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 you're going to be like, wow, man, maybe I should start smoking a pack a day. What do you smoke? What do I smoke? Marlboros, American Spirits, yeah. Proper smoker. Um, you talk about potentially guys you would want to fight and kind of going off on a solo Misfits journey as well. Um, have you got anyone in mind that you can tell us about? I know you're fully focused on tomorrow night, but have you got kind of any names that kind of jump to the forefront? For sure, man. I'm focused on tomorrow night. I obviously want Bryce Hall. It doesn't sound like that's going to happen, but I'd really like Supreme Patty. I think that that might happen. I mean... Uh, no disrespect to him or nothing, but I just think that's a fun fight to make happen. We're both Florida boys. We both kind of came up a similar way. Of course, he came up a lot more than me. He's a superstar. But, uh, yeah, I'd love to share that moment with him. We'll see where the journey takes you. Obviously, starts tomorrow. Um, I'm gutted you didn't come to my party last night, by the way. Yeah, I mean, I was going to come and uh, have a ride off you two boys, but uh, I decided to just stay in and get some rest. It's fight week, you know? You're a good man. Appreciate you. Thank you very much. Thank you, man. Cheers. I'm going to share something with y'all. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session.